So let's go through another way, because this is a really interesting problem. Let's think about another way that we could have tackled it. So once again, x is equal to 20, so this is a 20 degree angle. That's a 20 degree angle. And y is equal to 30, so this is a, a 30 degree angle. What is the value of a z? So the last way we did it, we constructed a line right over here to figure out the value of z. We were able to figure out that angle, then that angle, then this angle, then z. Another way we could have done it is we could have constructed a line right over here. And we could say, well, look, we made this, the measure of this angle is a degrees. And let's say the measure of this angle is b degrees. So what do we know? Well, we would know that a plus b, a plus b plus z plus z, that's, they're all the interior angles of this smaller triangle right over here. So they're going to add up to 180. And what, is, what else do we know? Well, a plus x is this whole angle right over here. So let's write that down. So if we have, so a plus x, a plus x is this whole angle right over there. And then we have plus, plus b plus x, which is this whole angle over here. Actually, let me not, instead of writing, x, let me write, because we know x is 20. So a plus, a plus 20 plus b plus b plus 20. 20 is this whole angle right over there. And then you add that to y, which is 30. So plus 30, that's going to be equal to 180, because that's this whole angle plus that whole angle plus that whole angle. It's the interior, some of the interior angles of this larger triangle. And so let me write that down. That's going to be equal to 180. And what's interesting here is we can solve for what a plus b is. And if we know what a plus b is, then we can solve for z. So let's do that. So we're going to get a plus b, a plus b. And then let's see, we're going to have 20. Let me do this in a new color. We're going to have 20 plus 20 plus 30. 30. So 20 plus 20 plus 30 is 40 plus 30 is 70. So plus 70 is equal to 180. Or subtract 70 from both sides, you get a plus b is equal to 110. And now we can just substitute back up here. a plus b, a plus b is equal to 110. So we have z plus 110 is equal to 180. Or z would be equal to 180 minus 110. 110, I'm just subtracting 110 from both sides of this equation right over here. And we would get z is equal to 70. And we're done. So there's many ways to actually tackle this, this pretty interesting, pretty interesting problem right over here.